from a three-month-old grevy zebra just finding its feet to a six-month-old red panda that's no more than a bundle of fur. These are just some of the new arrivals at Banham Zoo this year. Both endangered, they're part of the zoo's breeding programme to try to improve numbers and stop both species becoming extinct. We've got lots of breeding programmes around, so we're always hoping that those animals that are in, in breeding programmes are going to produce healthy little offspring for us. So, um, yeah, it's one of the exciting parts of the job, you know, we can set up the situation, but it's down to them at the end of the day. And it's the new arrivals that take centre stage at this time of year as the keepers carry out their annual animal audit, counting up the 4,000 or so creatures here at Banham and at its sister site, Africa Alive. The count means they can keep their databases up to date to share with other zoos around the world and the licensing authorities and will help them decide the best ways to breed them in the next year. But it's not just the babies that'll be featuring on the list for the first time this year. Other new arrivals include Santos the Sloth, who moved into the subtropical house Eureka in May, and four male Gelder baboons, led by alpha male Malachi. Obviously we keep track of it during the year, you know, if we miss a tiger during the day, you know, we've got a problem so we'll go out and find out what's gone wrong. But when we go down to more like the invertebrates and things, um, like cockroaches and stick insects, you know, that, that, we don't know exactly how many we've got every day. Also lots of goldfish and things, they breed throughout the year. So yeah, try and, trying to count goldfish is quite, quite tricky, but we get there in the end. So while it's not a bad job, it's certainly fiddly and time consuming. It'll be a couple more weeks until the keepers reach their final tally after a busy month of counting camels, ticking off tigers and monitoring meerkats. Lauren Hewitt, Mustard TV, Banham Zoo.